Good evening and welcome to the Channel Studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. Argentina's vice president has narrowly avoided assassination after a gunman's weapon jammed as he aimed it at her. Footage shows the moment Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner, surrounded by a mob of supporters, found herself face to face with the loaded weapon. Police said the gunman, who local media identified as a 35-year-old Brazilian man, has been taken into custody. They are attempting to establish a motive for the attack on the left-leaning politician, who was Argentina's president from 2007 to 2015, and its first lady for four years before that. President Alberto Fernandez revealed the gun was loaded with five bullets, but failed to fire when triggered. In a TV address to the nation, he said, this is the most serious event we have gone through since Argentina returned to democracy. A military-run court in Myanmar has sentenced Aung San Suu Kyi to a further three years in prison on election fraud charges. Ms. Suu Kyi, the country's former leader, has now been sentenced to 20 years in prison on 11 counts, with several charges remaining. She denies all of the accusations, and the trials have been condemned by rights groups as politically motivated. If convicted on all charges, she could face almost 200 years in prison. The 77-year-old Nobel laureate has spent most of her time in detention under house arrest in the capital, Norpitor. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa and U.S. President Joe Biden will hold talks on the 16th of September on a number of issues, including trade and energy. That's according to the White House. It comes weeks after the South African president met U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken. A White House statement said the leaders will discuss opportunities to deepen our cooperation on trade and investment, infrastructure, climate and energy and health. It added that the presidents would also reaffirm the partnerships between their two countries and discuss working together to address regional and global challenges. Salvage teams have rushed to pump fuel off a grounded ship after it collided with a gas tanker off Gibraltar and began leaking fuel oil into the sea. Authorities said there had been a significant leak from the OS-35 on Thursday and booms were deployed in an attempt to stop the oil spreading. By Friday morning, the British Overseas Territory said 80% of the ship's diesel fuel had been removed. The chief minister described the next 48 hours as crucial. A debate in the Liechtenstein parliament on the subject of earthquake insurance had to be suspended because of an earthquake. Bettina Petzold Ma initially laughs off the first tremor. <laughs> But the second one was stronger, measuring 3.9 magnitude. In diesem Zusammenhang dann auch die Frage. Forcing the Speaker of the Chamber to pause proceedings. Das wird langsam heftig. Ich glaube, man weiß ja nie wegen Nachbeben. Wir machen mal eine Viertelstunde Pause. Extinction Rebellion supporters have entered the House of Commons debating chamber and superglued themselves around the Speaker's chair. We are in crisis, and what goes on in this room every single day makes a joke out of all of us. Video and photos posted on social media by the group show five people inside the chamber holding banners reading Let the People Decide and Citizens Assembly Now. The House was not in session at the time. The group also hung a large banner bearing the same words from scaffolding on the estate. Britain's House of Commons said it was dealing with the incident as a matter of urgency. And finally, a two-headed tortoise called Janus will celebrate his 25th birthday this weekend, making him the world's oldest bicephalic tortoise. To keep him on form, carers feed him organic salad and give him daily massages and baths in green tea and chamomile. Janus, who has two heads, two hearts and two sets of lungs, but only one digestive system, is under constant surveillance in case he flips over. A two-headed tortoise would not ordinarily survive long in the wild, since it cannot retract its heads into its shell to seek shelter from predators. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the Channel Studios in Lagos.